while the Mobile Zoo is closed for business. Some animals are still here waiting to be taken to new homes. I can't tell you how long it's been going on, but it has been an ongoing investigation. Chief Assistant District Attorney Deborah Tillman says the animals were malnourished and not properly taken care of. She says it took time to gather evidence to charge the zoo's owner, John Hightower. We did a complete and thorough investigation in conjunction with law enforcement. We made a determination that we had enough evidence to charge this individual with 28 counts of cruelty to animals. <laughs> The Mobile Zoo has faced years of criticism from animal activists and was shut down by the U.S. Department of Agriculture last year. Back in 2013, we asked Hightower about issues with state and federal inspections. And it's constant. They, they, you know, they have to justify their job, so they come up with stuff, and it's easy to do. I mean, they, it, it's just anything they want to write you up for. The USDA has cited the zoo for dozens of violations. Those include roaches and inadequate water in bear enclosures, no follow-up veterinary care for a leopard with hair loss, and a chimpanzee with signs of psychological distress.